today I am going to do product review and it's going to be on mascaras. I have all these to show you so there are quite a few to go through um, and they're all very current uh, and available so something you can get your hands on or even ones that you probably not worth getting. So I'm going to take you through all those and also show you some alternatives. Um, but we'll start off because there are a few to get through. So I'm going to start off by showing you this one. I have used it in lots and lots of tutorials and I really, really do like it. It's the False MAC False Lashes Mascara. Um, the formula is really, really lovely. Um, it's very black and the brush is great too. So it's like that. You will find a lot of times it's the actual brush that does make all the difference. Uh, the formulas, uh, you, you, you do notice a difference, but the brush is what like you apply it with. So when I'm purchasing a mascara, I always tend to look for a brush. Um, it's not to say the biggest ones are the better ones, um, but definitely large ones or ones that are kind of contoured do work really, really well. Having said that, this is a great mascara. So the MAC False Lashes and it's in False Black. Um, I really can't fault it. It's a good mascara. Um, I normally will have to curl my lashes with this to get kind of like a curling effect. But generally speaking, it's good. Uh, a lot of people have kind of uh, compared it to the Lancome Hypnosis, which I have found it is very, very similar. So it's a good brush. I think they retail uh, definitely in their 20s and I think it's even high 20s. So it's good, good, good mascara. The second one I want to show you is the YSL Shocking. Uh, this is in black too. All my mascaras are generally in black. I think I own one brown to have in my kit for the very, 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 very odd person who requests a um, brown mascara. And to be honest, I kind of remember the last person who has. Um, if you apply mascara lightly, you kind of get a brown effect, really. It's not uh, something you really need. Anyway, so this is the shocking one. The brush is lovely. It's big. It is kind of, you can see it's a little bit contoured. This one actually looks a little bit bent. But it kind of twists around. So it's like that. It smells amazing. This is the first thing that I noticed. It's a very rosy smell. It smells beautiful. Um, I really, really like it. I never, don't remember the last time I tried a um, YSL mascara. I uh, assisted at a Yves Saint Laurent fashion parade a few months ago and I got to use them and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Definitely worth buying. Um, I think it's a bit pricey. I'm going to put all the prices in the comment box below so you kind of roughly know how much they are. Great, great mascara. Um, very dark, uh, very uh, creamy formula. Not very drying. Wears really well. I don't find I get those brown um, marks under my eyes, so it doesn't kind of uh, rub off. So really, really good mascara. Definitely one that I would recommend. The next one I'll show you, and I have spoken about this one, and I think I've even did a review on it is the uh, benefit they're real so you know, videos pass 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 back I did talk about it really really like it it's like that and this brush if you can see has a little dome bristle up the top so what you can do when you're applying your mascara you can really get in there and do those little kind of corner ones right at the edge um, really good mascara the brushes on this are plastic um, which I don't mind. I really like plastic brushes. I don't think it does anything. I, I like it. Um, so yeah, really, really good mascara. Um, again, very black. Don't notice much of a um, fallout. Doesn't dry, doesn't flake. Really, really good. I've heard some great things about this too. A lot of people who've tried it have liked it. The one thing I would say is the very first few times you use it, you may notice it doesn't really kind of lengthen, it doesn't do much. I believe you kind of need the formula to dry up a little bit to um, thicken it and then you will get that. So give it like a couple of weeks, keep using it, give it a couple of weeks and see how you go with that one. The fourth one I will show you and I have spoken about it oh, ages ago it was the Shantikai. Um, it's the uh, longest lash mascara. 
Now this mascara is meant to make your lashes grow. It's ridiculously priced. Um, I think it was like $89 from memory. Uh, I'll find out again, I will write it. It is not worth the money. It's just a mascara. I didn't find, if I look a little bit, a kind of fraction, fraction, but not that I would go, oh my God, this thing works and it's fantastic. Definitely not worth the money. It's just a mascara. So don't even bother. Don't bother with that one. Uh, the next one, which is, oh no, it's not the last one. Mascara. I'm only the best one to last. But is the, um, this is another one. This is Dior Iconic um, in black, of course. And plastic brush, like that. Um, and a really good mascara. I don't love it. No, I think the Dior Show is definitely better. Or the Dior, is it X? Those two are definitely better than this one, but it's, it's okay. Don't, not worth it really. Uh, better off going for the Dior Show, but it's nice. It's a very, um, I don't find it as black as some of the other ones that I've spoken about. Um, and you really need to keep going and going and going to get a really good effect. So it's an okay mascara, but not my favorite. Now, um, I mean, I'm in bridal season at the moment, so I'm doing, you know, close to, you know, four brides a weekend, if not more. So it's really, really crazy. Um, and all the time, if they ever, ever, ever ask for um, waterproof mascara, I go for the good old Great Lash waterproof mascara. And the brush, I have to say, I don't like, but I don't use, so that doesn't matter. It's the formula, the product inside that I use. So, when I'm out on a job and for hygienic reasons, I always use a disposable wand. So something like that. And you can see this one's quite big, um, get a lot of product on it. Or alternatively, which I have been really, really liking and I've bought it in bulk, is the mini ones. So they're very, very small. And I love these and use them most of the time because you can really get underneath the eyelash, so really close to your um, waterline. Um, you can go on top and, you know, uh, colour the top of your lashes. You can do your bottom ones quite easily. So I use that. Um, makeup artists, I'm sure you already know. If you don't, I really, really love this. So give it a try. Um, so yeah, so I don't use the brushes and I don't think the brushes are very, very good when you apply them. Um, you, you can and you just need to do them a few more times than normal. Um, but that's my waterproof mascara, the one that I go to all the time, which is great. And the colour is very black. So fantastic waterproof mascara and cheap. So, so cheap. Um, so worth it. If you want a waterproof, just go for that. You can buy these disposable ones, actually these ones, exact ones, at Priceline. Um, or any like drugstore or anything like that. Generally, they come in like little packs of you know, I don't know, 10 or 20. So you can buy those if you don't like the brush yourself. The next thing I want to show you is this, and it's the Hourglass Film Noir uh, Lash Lacquer. And what it is, it's not an actual mascara, and I'm sure I have used it previously in a tutorial, but I haven't spoken about it properly. It's a little brush like that. So what you do with it is you just paint on top, do your mascara, do it how you normally would do, then you kind of paint on this lacquer. And what it does, it makes it really, really black. So your lashes come out quite black and also um, shiny. So a bit like lacquer, it's just really glossy black. Um, I love it on photo shoots. I think it turns out really, really well in photos. So you kind of just paint it like that. Um, you probably wouldn't wear it every single day because it's a bit, you know, you've done your mascara and you have to go over it and put that in. So you don't have to use it every day, but for a night out, if you want to do, you know, your bottom lashes or just really kind of blacken your lashes, go for that. It's the Hourglass Film Noir Nash Lash Lacquer. So I really, really like that. You can buy this from Mecca. Um, I bought this one overseas. So I'll find out how much it is here for you. So that's a great one. Now, these are my new favourite, favourite mascaras. And I have two of them because they claim to do two different things. There is, it's the Kevin Aquan, 
So that one, if you don't know who Kevin Aquan is, he was a very, very famous and kind of revolutionary uh, makeup artist. He uh, changed the way uh, a lot of people did makeup. He did a lot of contouring. Great, great, great um, makeup artist. So I've got the curling mascara of his and the volume mascara. The curling mascara is, has a brush like this. So just your normal kind of domey uh, brush. And the volume one is like this, very straight and skinny. Now, out of both of them, I love this one, the Volume Mascara. Love it, love it, love it more than any of the ones that I've shown you. Not that they're bad, they're really, really good, but I love this. The curling one is really good uh, as well, I wouldn't say it's not, uh, but I don't think it gives you a lot of curl. I find the Volume one gives you both volume and curl. So if you're going to get any of them out of the two, get the volume one. Also, another reason, probably the biggest reason why I love it, yes, it curls, it darkens, it does everything, but when you wash it off, you only need hot water. Um, so you don't have to sit there with soap all over your eyes, eye cleanser, anything else but warm water. And all you do is just splash it off and it comes off like little tubes. So you just kind of very very gently you just have to kind of even just go over your lashes like that a little bit and they all come off uh, the first time I didn't even notice I didn't even know that it did that so I washed my face and I was getting all these kind of lines coming off and I actually thought it was my lashes so I had a conniption and it was wasn't good um so then I realized it was the product and you just kind of peel it off it doesn't leave any any residue no darkness no nothing under your eyes um so it's so good for your eye as well, like your makeup. No one wants to put harsh anything near their eyes. So water is brilliant. Um, another reason why I love it, and a lot of you will love it, because at no time, not once, have I ever, ever gotten the black, um, smudgy kind of powdery um, smudge under my eye. I haven't had that. I haven't had one flick of... Um, mascara like flakiness dry off nothing absolutely nothing so this one is my favorite favorite mascara um really give it a try i think they sell it for about 40 dollars um and the only place that we i think here in australia can get it is mecca i bought it online and i think i pay 25 dollars. so just google research and you can find where you can get it from or go to mecca if, you, if you're in a hurry you just want to get it you need a mascara I mean, there are more more expensive ones like Chantecai for ninety dollars, um, and then you got that one. So definitely, I highly recommend it. And it's the volume one, so the skinny kind of one like that, because you can really go keep going over it. Really, really like the mascara. So at all of it, all my mascaras. Just remember to use an eyelash curler. Helps all the time. Just, you know, kind of hold it, give a little few, um, like, tense little jabs. And doesn't hurt. I mean, some people are really scared of them. This doesn't hurt at all. Make sure nothing is uh, connected to your lash, but you're going to be fine. Uh, and if all else fails and all these aren't enough for you, you've always got your individual lashes or a uh, full strip. So, no excuses. You can always have beautiful lashes. It's almost Christmas. I'm sure you're all frantic um, doing your last minute shopping if you're not organized like me. Um, so I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Um, I don't know if I'll end up doing one before that, but if not, have a great, great holiday. And I will see you all soon. Bye.